good stretch is sitting down on a chair, right? But if you take that to the next level, I'm just, you know, uh, into a, I'm aspiring to get up to this. What you're gonna do is come into the quadruped position with your feet up against the wall. Put your, put your foot on a pad, your knee on a pad, and then take this foot, and ultimately, you wanna be able to come up to here. Now, I'm a little bendy, right? So you wanna start wherever you can. So if you can get to here and really feel that stretch, that's gonna get a really good opening from the hip. Because my leg is up and my foot is pointed, that whole anterior side is getting a good stretch out of it. All right? And if you can come up to here, that's even better. Right? You don't want to try and force your way up and get that banana back because that's you're pushing too hard. Right? If you can get any place that you can get that good stretch, you know, bring it up a little bit more here, hold that position. Right? If you can get into the position, you want to hold it for about two minutes per side. Right? And if you did that every day, it wouldn't be too much. Two minutes per side per day, and that'll really help open up the hip flexors. Right? And that's going to make everything work better. Right, because like I said before, we're trying to get that contraction right here. And if this is so tight that you can't get that good extension, you're never going to get the best contraction that you could. Make sense? And then Modather for you, because the hip and the ankle are really wonky joints, if they're not talking nicely together, your knee is just a dumb hinge in the middle, and that's going to take the brunt of all the ill communication. Does that make sense? So just helping your hips open up, and then working on the ankle will make nice and loose invert, evert, point and pull. That'll make those two joints work, communicate better, and the whole kinetic chain will work better.